So a question I get asked, get asked, get asked quite a lot is, who's the artist I've been hit by? So it might surprise you that this has come in sparring and not a fight. You know, despite my last fight getting absolutely filled in by William Zapida, he's got a relentless work rate, which that's what did me. Um, but it's, you know, surprisingly not the hardest puncher I've been in with. Said that after the fight. Um, obviously he caught me with an absolute peach, straight up middle, straight in solar plexus, and that zapped me. But he didn't drop me. I never went down, despite wanting to go down, I never went down. So it was in sparring, and it was against, it was against your man, James Tennyson. Um, I've got to know James over years and his trainer, Tony Dunlop. Um, you know, I think what's important to, to get across here is we had 16 ounce gloves on and head guards. Um, and the, the power that James has got is when you're sparring, when you get towards the end of the rounds, everybody usually gets fatigued and the power drops. But even though James were fatigued, his natural punch power were, were there in the last round, same as it was in the first round and you know that really really caught me off the thing that surprises me most about this is james's last fight against giovanni straffon for the ibo world title um so james had a one round shootout with straffon who come in at pretty late notice um and soon and when that fight were announced i i had my house on it that james would absolutely do a number on him um but you know the one round shootout that they had um, Strafon was somehow able to absorb James's punches and I was like, how is this man standing? Um, to absorb him, then land his own punches, which ended the fight in the first round. Um, I, was, I was shocked by that. Uh, and we all know what happened next. I was current British champion and I was fed to Strafon. Eddie was like, there you go, Maxi, you've done well. Do you want an opportunity? Go and fight that Mexican monster. And we all know what happened there. I was maybe about a 10 to 1 underdog. Nobody gave me a chance to see final bell, never mind winning. Um, but I went in there confident, ripped the script up. You know, everybody says Styles make fights and I had Strafon's number. You know, I made him miss, I made him pay. Um, and even the ones that he did catch me with, my face were marked up. But he certainly didn't hit me as hard as James hit me. And when that fight was announced, I did actually message James and I said, I'll get him for you. There you have it. The hardest man, the hardest man who's hit me is your man, James Tennyson. He's smack bang at the top of the list. Um, and I've got, lo obviously, got loads of sparring stories. If you want to hear some more sparring stories, things that have happened behind the scenes, you know, drop it in comments. Um, thanks for supporting my channel and don't forget to subscribe.